Hello everyone, welcome back to our lesson again, sensor. So in this part, we are going to discuss about magnetic and electromagnetic sensor, uh, sound based sensor and some other kind of sensors. Okay. So in magnetic and electromagnetic sensor, actually what happened, you know, the main characteristic is the electric coil. Okay. If any magnet come around the electric coil, it, if it moves, then the electricity flow change okay even if there is a fixed coil and there is a fixed magnet but if any metallic things came or metal uh, magnetic metal came or magnetic material came then the flux change and the voltage or electricity electric flow of the coil is changed okay you know how generator work okay if we move the magnet inside a coil it generates the electricity okay and the opposite way if uh, if there is a coil if we give the electricity then it become a magnet okay so this is the main principle of electromagnetic sensor so in this section we are going to discuss about read switch hall effect based sensor and electromagnetic sensor what is read switch? Read switch actually in read switch there is the electromagnetic uh, magnetic material. Okay, so when any magnet come near to the switch, the switch turned on, or you can say the switch uh, the material get short and the switch turned on. Okay, and if the magnetic material uh, go far, the switch turned off. Okay, or or we can say the switch was get open. Okay. So, this is the main principle of read switch. If you see uh, on the left side, there is a there is a pair. In one part, there is a permanent magnet, and in the other part, there is just a read switch that have the magnetic material. Okay, magnet sensitive material. So, when the magnet come near to the second part, the switch turn on. That means get short. Okay, if you if you just move aside then it turned off that is the way so a number of application in our door or in the uh, cupboard door a lot of places it use these kind of sensors this is another interesting sensor liquid level sensor like uh, when the water comes water rays the uh, floating part of the sensor goes up and inside the uh, circular part there is a permanent magnet circular magnet so when that magnet come to the near to the read switch and inside the inside the thing there is a read switch so when the magnet come near to the read switch then the read switch get short when this came down the read switch become open okay that is the main principle of this kind of sensor so if we use in different level we can uh, measure the different level of water or different level of liquid. Okay, if we use this kind of sensor inside our water tank, we can make a automatic watering uh, pump. Okay, so when the water become full inside the tank, then this kind of switch will go up, heat switch will turn on, and we can make a control system so that the uh, motor switch turned off. Okay, so this is possible, and if we use in different level, we can also measure the different level of the liquid. Now, Hall effect. This is a very very interesting thing. As I told you, there is a there is a coil, okay, or inductive coil, and then there is a permanent magnet. Okay, so when you, you can see the metallic part come near to the magnet. It cutting the flux. That means the magnet power increased. That means the magnetic, how to say, magnetic link become strong, and it will generate more voltage inside the conductive coil. Okay. But if the gap part came, that means the non-metallic part came. It means that the gap increased. At that time, it will generate less flux. Okay, so it will generate less electricity. So when the metallic part came closer, it's becoming like you can see here one, and when 
uh, the other part came, it's becoming zero. Okay, this is this is very very commonly uh, sensor. This sensor is commonly used in our in machineries. Okay, in our uh, heavy heavy machineries or where the type of this kind of gear to measure this kind of gears even it can be used for measuring whether there is any fault on the gear or not okay so this is very very commonly sensor commonly used sensor okay now the water flow sensor this is very simple if any uh, you, you can see in the figure if the water flows then one fan is spin okay in one position it will turn on the lead switch in other position it will turn off the lead switch okay so turn on turn off on off on off on off as much faster as much as as much it's turning on and off it means the water flow is high but if it turns on and off very slowly that means water flow is slow okay so by using this technique we can use we can measure the water flow okay Hall effect is also can be used in this purpose. Hall effect have huge application. This is another uh, good uh, how to say example of Hall effect. Like here is the same. You have a uh, conductive coil and you have a powerful magnet. If any metallic things pass, then the flux change. When the flux change, the conductivity changed. Okay, and it can say there is a material or metal passing through okay so it make a sound beep okay that is the way now sound based sensor sound based sensor is very commonly used in our current world the most commonly used thing is microphone ultrasonic also pressure can be measured okay vibration also can be measured by using uh, this kind of material so uh, sound can be measured by one transducer or magnetic uh, flux or magnetic coil or conductive coil and the magnet and the other one is piezoelectric material okay okay there is a, there are a number of piezoelectric materials around us some of them are naturally built in nature you can find it directly and some also by man made okay so because maybe these are not as strong as we required so we made some how to say mixed we mix some material so it become more piezo sensitive okay or pressure sensitive so these are the uh, these are some examples of man made piezoelectric material and these are the on the left side you can find the natural piezoelectric material okay so these are the things you can see ultrasonic okay ultrasonic sensor of course always it should have two things one is emitter one is receiver okay you can see uh, by using the traveling time it measures the distance okay so when it emit it goes reflect with something come back okay travel time so you can see here for ultrasonic sensor it use 400 40 kilohertz sound and distance equal to speed into time so speed of ultrasonic wave is known you know 340 meters per second and in the air and the sound can be calculated by the second so by using this equation, we can easily calculate the distance of, of the uh, object from the sensor. Okay. So there are a number of types of uh, ultrasonic sensors. Here is the microphone. You know, uh, if you break the headphone or if you break the any speaker, you can find there is a diaphragm and then one coil is attached with the diaphragm and there is a permanent magnet. So, when we create the sound, we pass different amount of voltage on the coil. Okay, so the coil moves, the coil generates electricity, so it moves with the magnet. But for the microphone, it's the opposite. Like when there is a coil and there is a vapor magnet, when we push it when I speak it make a air pressure so the diaphragm goes down and up the diaphragm uh, moves or we can say 
the diaphragm make the vibration okay so depends on the vibration the electricity generated from the coil okay but this electricity the amount of electricity is very low so to use this electricity we need to amplify it. so you will see in every microphone there is amplifier so by amplifying amplifying that current we can generate the real uh, uh, fluctuation of the current inside the microphone okay so that is the principle of microphone once again one diaphragm attached with a coil and there is a fixed magnet so the the, the conductive coil there is a uh, the wire goes to the amplifier so when it vibrates the amount of current change so it need to but if the changing is very low in millivolt levels it need to be amplified okay so by amplifying we can use the sound okay uh, here there are some vibrator sensor that is also using the same thing like there is a magnetic material which is either uh, moving with the coil or there is some piezoelectric material okay any one of these two by using any any one of these two material or two technique we can make a vibrator sensor or you can make a piezoelectric sensor okay pressure sensor okay pressure sensor is of course a piezo sensor okay when the pressure come to the piezoelectric material it generate the voltage simple law okay so what kind of material we are using in that sensor that is the point okay so if we use very sensitive material that means it will generate huge current for a small pressure or if we use uh, low graded piezoelectric material it will generate it, it can be useful for the very high pressure equipment so there are number of types of equipments are there where we can use this pressure, pressure sensor. So there is a, a sensor where the press, pressure, pressure came and piezoelectric material generate the voltage. So uh, that's all for this moment. On next part, we're going to discuss about some modern sensors, which are actually based on the uh, sensor by which are mainly sensors by engineering okay there are some other sensors also by using material but mainly sensors by engineering thank you very much